Item number SCP-619-J Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-619-J is to be kept in a steel .76m by .15m by .15m case at all times. The case is to be kept in a research chamber as site, unless otherwise noted by personnel with overseer-level clearance. Even under these circumstances, the SCP is to be kept in its case at all times. Removal of the object from its case will result in disciplinary actions. Should the object be removed from its case and worn by a human being, the wearer will be subdued and separated from SCP-619-J. Any D-Class subjects wearing the SCP may be subdued by lethal force. SCP-619-J appears to be a championship belt, as worn by wrestlers in the League. The belt is approximately .75 meters long when not worn. When a humanoid being attempts to put the belt on, SCP-619-J adjusts its size to one that would best fit the subject. The crest at the front of the belt is constructed of a plastic made to look like solid gold. The crest is emblazoned with ornate patterns and the words Championship. When worn by a human, the wearer will undergo a personality change. Subject will become increasingly violent when presented with even the slightest grievances. Subject will become boisterous and aggressive, often developing an incredible overconfidence in their strength. Despite this, wearing SCP-619-J does not seem to cause any physical changes. All physical prowess exists only in the wearer's mind. Addendum 619-J-01 The circumstances of SCP-619-J's acquisition follow below. Acquisition SCP-619 was retrieved on 19 from one Mr. Andre. There have been several reports of attacks by what was believed to be a supernatural creature around the area that Mr. lived. While the operatives deployed had at first only meant to question Mr. They were soon forced to subdue him when it was discovered that the subject, while wearing SCP-619-J, attacked them. During interrogation, the subject admitted to having been a customer of Marshall Carter and Dark, and was behind a strange series of attacks. When he discovered that SCP-619-J had been taken from him, subject expressed relief claiming that that damn thing got annoying after a while. Addendum 619-J-02 The following is an excerpt from an interview between Dr. McCallum and D. regarding SCP-619-J. Interviewed, D. Interviewer, Dr. McCallum. Forward. I hope to find out exactly what effects, if any, this SCP has on the human mind. Assisting me, D. Will be asked to wear SCP-619-J partway through our interview. Dr. McCallum. Begin log. Dr. McCallum. This is my first experiment to determine the effects that SCP-619-J has on the human psyche. Assisting me is D. Wait, what? This isn't what we agreed to. So how do you feel? You didn't say you were going to experiment on me. There are sounds of a struggle for several seconds, during which glass can be heard breaking. There is a sound of papers rustling, after which the interview continues. I ask again, how do you feel? I feel fine. I do not have glass in my eyes. Excellent. Now let's begin. D is fitted with SCP-619-J. After D removes their shirt, the interview continues. Alright, this time with the belt on, how do you feel? D voice has undergone significant change. He speaks much more roughly, screaming at the top of his lungs. I have the blood of the warriors pulsing through my veins! The end spirits of my four warriors fill me with distressity! D makes a loud snorting noise. Interesting. Tell me, what do you see? I see the screens of a thousand normals! Now you must deal with all unpleasantries! Wait, me? I will break your spine until your children are in pain! That doesn't even make… He is cut off by a scream from the subject. There are sounds of a struggle and several screams from Dr. McCallum. D is quickly subdued and separated from SCP-619-J. End log. Closing statement. After being separated from SCP-619-J, D claimed to have been under the delusion that he was standing in a wrestling ring surrounded by a cheering audience. 
Dr. McCallum has put through a request for D to be terminated. Request denied. Don't be a jerk just because a guy put you in a half Nelson. 05. It was a full Nelson followed by a submission hold. Honestly, I think termination is completely called for. Dr. McCallum. Addendum 619-J03. Incident. SCP involved. SCP-619-J, SCP-076, SCP- Personnel involved. D-7706. Date. Location. Description. During an attempted escape by SCP, D-7706 somehow came into possession of SCP-619-J. After attacking other D-Class personnel, Abel, who had been helping during the crisis, stepped in. After a kick to the head, D-7706 was easily beaten. However, after his victory, Abel was seen to remove the belt from D-7706's body and place it around its waist. Abel then went on a rampage, killing numerous officers before the device around his neck was detonated. When questioned later, Abel claimed that he had felt a compulsion to wear SCP-619-J after defeating D-7706. SCP-619-J is currently being tested for memetic properties. I saw Abel with the belt on. He was even more unbeatable, if that's possible. And no, I could not smell what he was cooking. Whatever that means, Agent. Addendum 619-J04 After Dr. McCallum was seen running around the facility in a chicken suit, it was discovered that he had stolen SCP-619-J for his own purposes. He was quickly subdued. The doctor had this to say about his actions. Punish me all you want, I finally suplexed that cafeteria worker who never gives me flan. Dr. McCallum was quickly informed that the cafeteria does not carry flan. Addendum 619-J05 Several agents have made an attempt to steal SCP-619-J and force D-Class personnel to wear it before throwing them into SCP-682's holding area. They were harshly disciplined and… This was hilarious the first time, guys. And the second, and the third, but it stopped being funny around the seventh time. Get some new material. 05.